There are two listening exercises. You must listen carefully. Then, answer the questions correctly. The most important thing is you must do the exercises honestly. I believe it will increase your listening skill. We're, we're talking about education and about, uh, you know, people applying themselves and getting grades and giving praise and stuff like that. Have you ever thought that maybe we, because we're both teachers, both of us are teachers, that maybe we put too much effort on judging everybody and that maybe it's okay for kids to realize failure is not really a bad thing or maybe quitting is not a bad thing? Absolutely. Yeah, I think, I think all the emphasis should be put on the effort that people make and yeah the the failing or succeeding is kind of secondary to that because it's, it does seem that we push kids at all levels to get good grades go to college get that good job and that that usually works out but in a lot of cases people find success because they fail because they don't do well and that leads them to something else in life so i guess you, I'm not saying don't try, just quit at everything, but that we have to just accept that actually maybe quitting is not such a bad thing. No, I don't think it is. No, I think you working, that's all part of the learning process, working out what... I, I was lucky, I was given very good advice at school. I wasn't pushed to get good grades, I wasn't pushed to pursue a career. The advice I was given was do what you enjoy doing, because mm. they're the things you'll be good at. Yeah. And that was great advice. I don't have a career, <laughs> but I'm happy. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. There was yeah. a great quote the other day by someone in the paper about uh, starting your own business, and the person said, um, you know, follow your passion and keep at it, and the money will follow. And I think that's pretty much the case for a lot of people that, you know, that they find success. There's that other famous quote about doing what makes you come alive. Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive because the world needs people who've come alive. <laughs> Meaning like pursue your passion and that will lead to success, whatever success means. It's the way we define success as well is also part of the problem. True, if, true. You know, a high income, is that success? I, in my book, that's not what success is. Success is happiness, so. So what is happiness? Happiness is uh, just contentment, absolute peace with where you are right now and what you're doing right now. Not okay. striving or yearning for things that are beyond you. Beyond grasp. your reach. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. Listen again. We're, we're talking about education and about, uh, you know, people applying themselves and getting grades and giving praise and stuff like that. Have you ever thought that maybe we, because we're both teachers, both of us are teachers, that maybe we put too much effort on judging everybody and that maybe it's okay for kids to realize failure is not really a bad thing or maybe quitting is not a bad thing? Absolutely. Yeah, I think... I think all the emphasis should be put on the effort that people make. And, yeah, the, the failing or succeeding is kind of secondary to that. Because it's, it does seem that we push kids at all levels to get good grades, go to college, get that good job. And that, that usually works out. But in a lot of cases, people find success because they fail, because they don't do well. And that leads them to something else in life. So I guess... 
I'm not saying don't try, just quit at everything, but that we have to just accept that actually maybe quitting is not such a bad thing. No, I don't think it is. No, I think working, that's all part of the learning process, working out what... I, I was lucky, I was given very good advice at school. and I wasn't pushed to get good grades, I wasn't pushed to pursue a career. The advice I was given was do what you enjoy doing because mm. they're the things you'll be good at. Yeah. And that was great advice. I don't have a career, <laughs> but I'm happy. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. There was yeah. a great quote the other day by someone in the paper about uh, starting your own business, and the person said, um, you know, follow your passion and keep at it, and the money will follow. And I think that's pretty much the case for a lot of people that, you know, that they find success. There's that other famous quote about doing what makes you come alive. Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive because the world needs people who've come alive. <laughs> Meaning like pursue your passion and that will lead to success, whatever success means. It's the way we define success as well is also part of the problem. True, if, true. You know, a high income, is that success? I, in my book, that's not what success is. Success is happiness, so... So what is happiness? Happiness is uh, just contentment, absolute peace with where you are right now and what you're doing right now. Not huh. striving or yearning for things that are beyond you. Beyond grasp. your reach. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. You will hear the next topic. Most countries, lawyers have to pass a certain exam. Um, to be a lawyer in this court system, do you have to pass some special exam? Actually, well, first you have to be a lawyer from a particular country. Um, then after that, you study human rights in an international context. Uh, for international law, you do not have uh, an exam. As long as you are already a lawyer in your own country and have passed your national test, after that, you can uh, become an international lawyer. So when cases are brought to this international uh, court, is it a jury? Is it just one judge? Is it a, a group of judges? It's a group of judges. There are, I believe, seven judges uh, from different countries of America. Okay, and you never have like two judges from the same country? No, it's very rare. Oh, very rare. It's mostly different countries. And what was the commission? You said there was a commission? Yes, uh, the commission is the first uh, entity that you bring a case to. You do not go to the court right away. First, the commission sees the case, and after they review it, they believe that there is a mistake done by the state. Then they can take it into the court, but first it has to come from the commission. So if somebody has a problem, they go to the commission, the commission then will verify if it should go to the courts, and then it goes to the courts? Well, um, the commission will give a sentence, or will say what the country should do or, or not, if it's not in fault. Um, after that, after giving the decision, if the state ignores it, uh, the person that brought the case can continue into the court, but not necessarily all the time goes into the court. So there are actually one decision before going into the court. 
Well, fantastic. And then usually when something goes, uh, somebody brings a, a court case, like uh, how long is the process usually from start to finish? Long time, many <laughs> years. <laughs> Unfortunately, many years. Uh, in the commission right now, it takes, if you bring a case right now, there are so many cases that it can take up to five years before the commission can look at your case. Wow, so is this long, is many years. Yeah, that is a long time. Yes, yes. Most countries, lawyers have to pass a certain exam. Um, to be a lawyer in this court system, do you have to pass some special exam? Actually, well, first you have to be a lawyer from a particular country. Um, then after that, you study human rights in an international context. Uh, for international law, you do not have uh, an exam. As long as you are already a lawyer in your own country and have passed your national test, after that, you can uh, become an international lawyer. So when cases are brought to this international uh, court, is it a jury? Is it just one judge? Is it a, a group of judges? It's a group of judges. There are, I believe, seven judges uh, from different countries of America. Okay, and you never have like two judges from the same country? No, it's very rare. Oh, very rare. It's mostly different countries. And what was the commission? You said there was a commission? Yes, uh, the commission is the first uh, entity that you bring a case to. You do not go to the court right away. First, the commission sees the case, and after they review it, they believe that there is a mistake done by the state, then they can take it into the court. But first, it has to come from the commission. So if somebody has a problem, they go to the commission, the commission then will verify if it should go to the courts, and then it goes to the courts? Well, um, the commission will give a sentence or will say what the country should do or, or not if it's not in fault. Um, after that, after giving the decision, if the state ignores it, uh, the person that brought the case can continue into the court, but not necessarily all the time goes into the court. So there are actually one decision before going into the court. Well, fantastic. And then usually when something goes, uh, somebody brings a, a court case, like uh, how long is the process usually from start to finish? Long time, many <laughs> years. <laughs> Unfortunately, many years. Uh, in the commission right now it takes, if you bring a case right now, there are so many cases that it can take up to five years before the commission can look at your case. Wow, so is this long, is many years. Yeah, that is a long time. Yes, yes.